Okay, I'm going to go over my napping, my abo napping kit real quick. We just finished weighing it. It weighed about uh, six pounds. Say hello. Hi. Say hello. Hi. <laughs> okay, hand me something and I'm going to describe some of these. Okay, this one is, uh, this one is just a, uh, a biface attached to a, a short shaft and I'm gonna, I'll be using this for pressure uh, for notching and for serrations and see how that works let's see hand me something else uh, I've already shown this wooden billet I hardly ever use that but I included that in my uh, my napping kit anyway this is a, a moose antler tine that I just dressed today uh, rounded off the bottom end and made it a little bit easier for me to use for indirect percussion behind my knee, and that's what I'll be, that's what I'll be doing. Um, some of those little pieces. Okay, these are inserts for an indirect percussion tool that I've made. It just has two holes in it. This is elk antler. And uh, I'll be holding that behind my knee and just inserting these little pieces of bone and uh, antler. Oops, these, this is a piece of bone here. Cow bone. And uh, this one is too. We'll see how these work. Bone usually breaks much more easily than uh, antler, but I'm just going to try it anyway. These are both antler. They just fit in there, no glue or anything. And then you can use that for indirect percussion. I do have some that'll fit on the other end. There's a, a larger hole at the other end. This fits in there. It's a, just a piece of antler. I have a piece of bone also that fits. We'll see how that works out. These are just pressure flakers with very sharp, one of them has a very sharp tip. These are all uh, white tail antler. I'll be using uh, some stone for pressure flaking also, uh, for notching and for serrations. This is just a piece of uh, chert, Texas chert. This is a piece of rhyolite. I'm not sure exactly where that's from, but uh, this is the hardest uh, rock I've got. I'll be using this for pressure and for making serrations. This is a small uh, anvil stone. I'm going to hold it in my hand when I'm pressure flaking. It's uh, made of sandstone, I think. But it's a very, very smooth. It might even be limestone. Uh, I mean, that little piece of wood. Yeah. I'll be trying to use this again. I used to use this a lot for my pressure flaking. And uh, I've worn it out quite a bit. I'll see if I'm going to uh, have success with this in a later video. Let's see. What's that? This is just a small uh, pressure flaker. We'll see how that works. Okay, anything else? Is that it? Okay, just hammer stones. Just a few hammer stones. I've narrowed it down to four of my favorite sizes. I use this mainly for spalling and this mainly for spalling also. Oops. Oops. Uh, this is for larger spalls than this one. This is basically for trimming down the larger spalls. And then I go with the smaller hammer stones for rough shaping. That's it.